Chippy from ultrabooknews.com and I've got the internal lithium ion battery from a Samsung Series 5 here. It, uh, it died, died on me so I bought an extra one. Video on the uh, swap out is, uh, is already online and uh, hey, like any decent hacker, what I really should do is, is uh, open this one up and see what was what's inside. Now it's, uh, it's a lithium ion, I guess, 4 cell? It's all plastic sealed. Now, if you pretty careful, you can't pierce lithium ion batteries. That's very, very dangerous. So don't think about doing it. But this one has got a plastic wrapping on it. And I think I can get it off pretty safely. So what I'm gonna do is just try and it's all plastic welded on the outside. There we go. And then you should be able to see inside. Is that But it's four cells. And this is uh, actually lithium polymer battery. The reason it's uh, lithium polymers, the reason is that they, make it, they can make the flat batteries. And the reason that they seal these things inside Ultrabooks is because you don't have to have so much uh, safety protection around. If you have removable batteries, this bit here, which is a flimsy, tiny bit of plastic weighing, I don't know, 20 grams, has to be a certain thickness, it has to pass safety tests, be approved, etc, etc. So that's why you won't find uh, too many removable batteries on an Ultrabook. And there it is, it's a four cell. Now what they do is uh, they put uh, two in series uh, uh, and then in parallel. So you've got each one of these puts out 3.7 volts, so two in series, uh, was it uh, 7.4 volt. Now, you don't put uh, four in series, what you do is you put two in series and then parallel two more on top of that. So you get 7.4 volt plus 7.4 volt in terms of milliamp hours. So this one, there's no uh, milliamp hour specs on written on these. Ah, oh, maybe we can see that uh, we've got here some specs. I don't know if I can see how many milliamp hours are in it. But that looks like something like a ooh, 2,000 milliamp hour, maybe a 4,000, so f two times 4,000. Uh, it's got something written on it. Yeah, it's difficult to tell really. Now this one died, I'm just having a look to see if there's uh, anything obviously broken in here, like any connectors. There's one possible broken connector there. And that's this connected to this. Now I wonder, whether what happened is that the batteries are okay but in fact the connections broke between them let me zoom in i'll show you show you what's happening there let's uh, go to zoom i think now these are connected across here this these are not connected at all in any way to anything and if they're in parallel that's the plus and the minus and those two will be parallel and those two will be parallel so those should be connected there and they're not now I won't try it here but what I'm going to try when the camera's off is uh, just to see if I can reconnect those maybe these batteries are, are actually okay but maybe maybe if these batteries disconnected it was just running off these two batteries and that's why it died in about 12 months on me because these two batteries basically uh, were, were, were taking all the, the load and died fairly quickly but we've still got these two batteries that are probably in good condition anyway there you go that's what's inside a flat pack lithium ion uh, battery this one of course has uh, control electronics here uh, this is the electronics that reports back to the ACPI a process and uh, can't see any manufacturers names on there but this will be reporting back the uh, yeah it'll be storing things like the cycle count the load cycle count uh, the remaining capacity uh, the current uh, drain and those sort of things so that's what's what's on there that's what you'll find in a, in a circular removable cell as well and that all wrapped up in that thick packaging so um, that's why these are thin and light in Ultrabooks. There you go. That's uh, one of my most interesting YouTube videos so far. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, that's it for the, uh, the battery breakdown. Catch you soon on the next video, which I promise will be more interesting. <laughs>